Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I've got a quick update for you about the RetroArch Open Hardware Project. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you've never heard about the RetroArch Open Hardware Project, I recommend checking out a video I did about a year ago talking about the subject in a little bit more detail. The video is only three minutes long. It's not a waste of time here, so click the link in the description and learn a little bit more. So at a really high level here, basically this is a device where you can plug your games into, starting with N64, and you can play them directly from this device. You can potentially rip your games off the cartridges from this device, and you can also use this device to back up your saves. It's a pretty neat little thing and it's completely open source. Since the initial news of this open hardware project broke, Libretro has been pretty tight-lipped. They haven't said a whole lot about it until recently. So they say here, they partnered with a hardware manufacturer for a commercial release, bringing the peripheral into everyone's hands while still keeping a free and open DIY route. With that in mind, we are redesigning the hardware to be modular meaning there would be a base unit and add-on modules for other consoles' hardware. The main focus is still the N64. They state their goal is to reach more people with this approach, while only slightly increasing the difficulty for DIY folks, because it requires a secondary PCB. They also say here they could enter production in mid-2022 and have a product by the end of the year. To me, that is extremely exciting. Libretro here has also launched a new website, RetroArchOpenHardware.com. I'll leave a link in the description below because you can sign up for a newsletter. In addition to that, they've got a survey. I'll link this survey as well in the description below, and I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you're interested in this product. You don't understand that emulation is a very niche market and your voice actually matters here. People will listen if you have opinions. They'll probably be taken into consideration. So I do recommend checking out this survey. It seems pretty interesting and pretty simple and straightforward. For example here, the first question, do you own physical cartridges? Well, my answer to that is absolutely yes. Number two, do you use physical cartridges with your original console hardware? Well, my answer to that is also yes. One of my favorite questions in this survey is number six, why would you choose emulation over real hardware? My answer is probably every single reason they've given here, except this last one. Ah, uh, no, maybe even this last one as well. I just prefer emulation. At the end of the day here, I am extremely excited about the open hardware project, especially considering I might be able to play physical N64 cartridges on a Raspberry Pi. Anyways, that is all I've got for this one. Short, sweet, and to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about the RetroArch Open Hardware Project in the comments below. Are you interested in it? Are you not interested in it? And what systems would you be interested in? Let me know in the comments below and let them know in the survey. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.